Hey, what's going on everybody? It is I, Tyler the Toy Geek, and today we're coming at you with a brand new action figure review, something that just came out super recently from the action figure company, Super 7. It is the brand new Super 7 Ultimates Duff Man. So what the deal is, is I got a brand new setup for my reviews, so let's go ahead and switch over to that angle. So here we are, brand new Super 7 Ultimates action figure. This is the Duffman from the Simpsons line, Wave 2. So I'm really excited to check this out. One thing to note on the front of this box here, it says ages 21 and plus, not a toy, of course. Hence the references to certain things on here. Taking a look at the back of the box, we've got, of course, Duffman, artistic pose. Of course, underneath every image of a Simpsons character is the creator's name, Matt Groening. Tense, one figure with accessories. On the back, we've got, on the bottom, we've got some information there, of course, 20th Century Fox, television, all that good stuff. The top of the box has the Super 7 Ultimates logo. And then let's go ahead and reveal the packaging without the sleeve. So, there's a lot of glare coming from my lights, so give the awkward angle. I'm just showing you what the box looks like up close and personal. You get a nice glimpse of everything that comes with Duffman, and there's a lot of accessories. On the back of the box, you've got a nice little read-up of Duffman. He first appears in the city of New York versus Homer Simpson, season 9, episode 1. Original air date, September 21st, 1997. So that being said, let's go ahead and, so to speak, crack it open, if you get my pun there, haha, and see what it looks like. So here is everything out of package. One thing I've noticed with certain Super 7 items is that on the back here, oh wow, there's already something I could see that I did not expect. And you could probably already tell what that is, but we'll get into that. One thing I've noticed with Super 7 and their ultimates is they like to put the extra hands and like the back sleeve, I guess if you could call it that. But he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different hands, all kinds of different, all kinds of different gestures, some holding hands, some pointing fingers, all that kind of good stuff. So let's take a bit, let's take a closer look at that. So here's a good glimpse of all the hands up close and here's what they look like. And here's what they look like on the other side. Not really, not really sure what I want to pose him with, but those are very nice to include all kinds of different gestures. Sticking with the theme of accessories, and that's the first thing I like to take a look at. Let's go ahead and get a good visual on every single accessory that comes with this before we take a look at Duffman himself. So let's take a look at the first accessory that comes with Duffman. And of course, it's got to be a six pack. Well, in this case, a seven pack of Duff, and it's very well articulated. It's very well done. It looks just like a six pack, of course. Paint job feels very matte. I like that. That's one of the things that I like about Super 7 quite a bit, is their matte kind of paint jobs. Very nice accessory to include. If you had a Homer, you know, you could almost have Homer hold this. Of course, he would like that. Second thing, it seems like an extra because it has a peg hole for his hand, you could swap this on and put this fan sign or these foam finger type dealies on. And once again, it feels very durable, thick, painted nice, went into qu quite a bit of detail with this, so that's pretty cool. I enjoy that. And then with any Super 7 Ultimate, I know you see who's back there, but we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the extra heads first off. So, in the episode, you get a glimpse of somebody walking up to Duffman and saying, Hey Duffman, how would you like a sticker on your face? So they kind of went at great lengths to make sure that this was a thing that happened. So that's a pretty interesting alternate head. I don't think I'm going to use it. Maybe for a photo, it'd be kind of neat, but pretty cool accessory to come with. And somewhere in my last vacation photos that I took to Universal Florida, there's a photo of me and my wife with... Duffman, who has this expression on his face, so very happy, I don't know, laughing kind of face, so really nice detail. They went into these extra heads and everything like that. Really awesome paint jobs, all that good stuff. Perfect. And then, of course, you couldn't, of course you couldn't 
include a Duff man without his trusty sidekick. Well, Suds McDuff does have a little bit of head articulation, swivels from side to side. The figure does not really like to stand up that well. Can't even lie about that. So you got to put him at kind of like a interesting angle, but he's got the Hawaiian type shirt on. Of course, this is uh, Santa's little helper, but very cool accessory. Oh, I'm sorry. The tail even has articulation there. Cool feature there. Suds McDuff. Really cool. So what I like about these Super 7s is you're almost getting two figures for the price of one. This is the third or fourth different animal that has come with a Super 7 Ultimate that I've got from the Simpsons line. You know, you had the panda that went with Mo. You had Santa's little helper that came with Bart. And then you had Mr. Teeny that came with Krusty. And now we've got world famous mascot Suds McDuff. So now, of course, we got to take a look at the figure himself, obviously. And let me tell you, I am highly impressed just taking this out of the box. First thing, get a look at those details. That, that blue on his costume really pops. Of course, the six pack or let's see, let's count these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten duffs around his waist on his belt. Really incredibly detailed. You get a good look at that. His face and his head are stupendously designed. Even the head, even the hat, I should say. Even got that little uh, taco meat coming out. Chest hair. Take a look at his boots. Really nicely done. He's even got peg holes if you wanted to put a stand on it. Now, one thing that I really didn't expect, but maybe I should have with Bartman. This thing has a wired cape. So you could, I mean, essentially he's the, he's the superhero for Duff products, of course, but... You can kind of pose any kind of um, hero pose, I suppose, if you wanted to. But this figure is really darn impressive. I'm really impressed. It feels beefy. It feels bulky. It feels durable. Now let's talk about the articulation. And, you know, one thing with these Super 7 action figures is they're not really known for being, like, ridiculously articulated. It really depends on the figure. You know, whereas you go for some other kind of company, they have a lot of detail on articulation based on any figure. But... These are more character based, so you gotta kinda appreciate that for what it is. So of course the head the head is on a swivel, so get him kinda looking any which way you want. The arm, I have a feeling these joints are be kind of stiff, a little bit stiff. So his shoulder kinda moves up and down, the wrist kinda goes a lot of limited elbow articulation because of the gloves, and that's alright. I'm assuming it's gonna be the same thing on the other side. No waist articulation, I think that that should be something to expect on the account of the belt. So the legs are kind of on like a little swivel deal there, and there's no knee articulation. But there is a little bit of foot and boot articulation. It's a little stuck there, a little stuck joints there on that left side, but nothing a little hot water can't fix up. So here's Duff, man, really enjoying that wired cape. That is really cool. So let's go ahead and pop off the head check out some of the turn and accessories that come with them. So here's Duff Man with that sticker that that guy slapped on his face. Pretty funny accessory. So here's Duff Man with one of his alternate heads and a couple alternative hands, acknowledging the tribal chief, so to speak. Kind of like a little superhero pose, I guess. You can even do something like this. That's pretty neat. Here's another couple alternative hands. Got him kind of doing a little salute there. He's got the foam finger on the other hand. Pretty neat. You, you could do a variety of things with this guy. And here he is with kind of the, the rock on kind of hands. And then the other hand, he's got the seven pack. We're gonna call it a six pack, but it's actually a seven pack of Duff. And then here's his best pal. Well, kind of. So it's McDuff. So, so needless to say, this is a pretty cool set. You basically get two figures for the price of one. You got Duffman, Suds McDuff. Really impressive set. I'm enjoying it quite a bit. Really was taken off guard by the cloth cape, the wired cape, but Super 7 is aiming to impress and they're doing just that. So, you know, let's go ahead and grade this figure and talk about the things that I like and I don't like. So, I'm going to go ahead, honest to God, give it an A because Duffman is a. Uh, Really popular Simpsons character, of course, one of my favorites too. And it includes Suds McDuff, pretty impressive, and the multitude of heads and hands and everything like that, even down to the foam finger and all that good stuff. 
I like that a lot. The only thing I don't like is my particular figure. I don't know if it's really going to pick up on camera. You can see right here above his elbow, it does have a paint scuff. And I think that's just one thing that I'm going to notice. I don't think many people are going to notice that but me, but overall, not too shabby if you want to talk. I don't know, in the complaints department, I guess. I don't know. It's not the worst thing in the world, right? So, Suds McDuff, Duff Man, Super 7 Ultimates. If you want to go ahead and pick it up, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link down below. Also in my bio, where you can get them if you want to save 10% off. And also get free shipping on orders of $79 or more. I will include that in the description. And thank you guys so much for watching my review of Suds McDuff and Duff Man. As always, be sure to subscribe. If you're digging the content, give it a like. Comment on the video back. And let me know what you guys think if you're going to pick it up. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.